This Copenhagen factory makes 330 pounds of licorice per hour. Licorice is candy made from the licorice root. It's a popular treat in Scandinavian countries, known for its salty taste and deep black color. Over 10 years ago, Johan Bulo made it his mission to make the world fall in love with licorice. And today, he ships his product worldwide. Let's go find out how he gets his licorice from the factory in Copenhagen to each of his 1,500 shops around the world. It takes between 8 and 24 hours to make a batch of licorice from Lacrids. Molasses is added to the licorice. It's pressure cooked until the air is squeezed out and cools on a conveyor belt in long strands before being snipped into small pieces. Chocolate is dripped on the surface for 8 hours, and each licorice core is covered in up to 30 thin layers of chocolate. Then fruit powders, licorice powders, or salt are added. This labor of love started with Johan's passion for licorice as a child. I definitely grew up uh, loving licorice. We ate quite a lot. But when it came to his business, he was interested in creating a gourmet version of the popular candy. People in the Scandinavian countries and in Germany, they eat quite a lot of licorice. But they were used to just buying it in a supermarket uh, from a large-scale factory. And I just realized there must be a gourmet market for licorice or lacrisse in, in Danish. But what makes it gourmet? It comes down to where Lacrids gets ingredients. They source molasses from South America, local oil from the island of Bornholm, and their most popular ingredient, the licorice root, is shipped from the Middle East. One of their best-selling products is chocolate-covered licorice, including passion fruit, caramel, and coffee flavors. But it's not just Danes that love licorice now. This is the first time in the company's 11-year history that over 50% of turnover is coming from exports to other countries. Johan opened his first shop on the small island of Bornholm in Denmark. His creations are now sold in 1,500 shops in six different countries, including Germany and Dubai. Before moving into a new market, Johan's team travels to each place to learn about the people and the flavors of the culture. Then he creates products based on what he learns. That's a way of growing a new market. Actually, we created a specific product for, for Dubai, and then we added the flavor of Bulgarian rose leaves to it. In 2007, the company took in 1 million Danish kroner, or 156,000 US dollars. That revenue has increased 200 times over 11 years, now at 31 million US dollars this past year. 11 years ago, when someone told me that I was dreaming just creating a gourmet licorice, uh, almost everyone was laughing at it, um, and I think they are laughing again when I'm trying to, to teach the world to love licorice. Let's see. I, I, I think we can make it, to be honest. <laughs>